Okay, we are at the press box here in Oswego. I'm with Allison, Marissa, Steve. How are you guys doing today? Great. Good. Great to be here today. Beautiful day here in Oswego. Uh, we call it a nice day. We're sitting out on the deck here. So we're going to talk to them a little bit about the place and, and what the press box is known for. So, Steve, tell me a little bit about how you guys started the press box here. Um, back in 1980, uh, my uncle and my father bought this whole building, the warehouse here. And, uh, they renovated it piece by piece, and this laid vacant. And my brothers and I looked at it and said it'd be a great place for a tavern. So we came in, we sandblasted, tore up a little bit, put there, things here and there, and came up with what we have here now. And then throughout the years, just added and added. We added a kitchen. In 1986, we added a kitchen. And uh, at first, we were doing 90% probably bar business. Now it's just flipped, and we're doing. 80% food now, and it's, uh, it's been a challenge, but it's been really fun over the years. Yeah. 30, 33 years as well. Wow, that's awesome. So, talking about now the restaurant part as you guys evolve, what uh, type of menu and what are some of the special things you guys uh, do here? Well, we're, uh, here's our menu. Okay. <laughs> we're really known for our burgers, actually. We get our meat fresh from a local butcher, and actually they bring the rolls with it, so they bake them every morning. Sometimes we have to go back and get burger and more buns, like, once, twice a day. And um, we, so we're known for our burgers, I'd say. Okay. But we have a couple really good selling appetizers, like our um, pulled pork nachos, which we're going to show you later today. Okay. They're our number one selling appetizer behind our chicken wings right now. So they're, oh, uh, wow. they're delicious. <laughs> okay. And, um... We have really good sandwiches, like we have a really good Reuben. Mm -hmm. and we have a unique focaccia sandwich, which is like an Italian herb sandwich, and we have three different flavors of that, and that's our number two selling sandwich. Wow. Here, so. Yeah. so you got a menu kind of open for anybody. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got a different variety yeah, of different stuff. we have pizzas, stuff. we have salads, like, we have delicious salads, and um, we have pretty much everything. Pretty, pretty yeah. much everything. <laughs> now, the bar I saw when I came in, which was really cool, you got TVs all over the place, um, tell me a little bit about the bar and what you guys had. Well, just recently we added um, eight more draft lines, so and we just installed the last three, so we've got 17 working draft lines right now. So we've got a pretty fun collection of draft beers all the time, and um, pretty much anything you want in the bottle. And we'll have on Sundays during football, we'll have all the games on. So mm -hmm. Fun. That's got to be a that's got to be a huge draw. Yes. Um, I mean, people are always looking to watch their favorite team, and you got a good place that's got food and and drinks, and, and people are set to go. That, that's awesome. And you can watch it at your own table if you want to. Yes, people game. will get here like half hour before the game just so they can sit like down. reserve a yeah. TV. Reserve a TV <laughs> table. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Yeah. So it's a neat. Sounds like a great place. Uh, it sounds like 33 years. That's a long time to be in business. Uh, as you know, it's not the easiest thing, but you guys are doing a great job out here. Um, so why don't we head into the kitchen and uh, see some of these specialty things you guys make for us. Yeah. Sound good? Perfect. All right. The atmosphere is great. Um, you know, love coming here, catching a game, especially if it's an Oswego game. I work up at the college, and they can't beat the food. It's, you know, great bar food, grilled pizzas are good, paninis are good. Burgers are good, you can't get a bad meal here, so welcome to the press box, it's a great spot. Chicken and pizza, chicken fajita, Greek. Wow, very cool. Big menu. Okay, I'm with Nick here at the Press Box. How you doing, buddy? Good. What are you making for us today? I'm making you a Press Box burger. Okay. With lettuce, tomato, mayo, and sautéed onion. Sounds good. We're going to have a minute some grilled Italian wings, too. Oh, man. They're uh, wicked good. Wicked good. Now, wh how, you, how are these made? They, I've never heard of this. So, um, we make the sauce in-house, and it's like a combo of like uh, hot sauce, some butter, Italian seasonings, and... Um, then we actually fry the wings, they're fresh wings, mm -hmm. and then we sauce them up and we throw them on the grill after. Oh wow, and that's different. They're, they're really good. They're good. Okay, we're going to be trying some of their uh, Italian wings. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, pulled pork nacho here. So we double layer all of our nachos so you get a little bit of goodness in each bite. 
Um, so we do a layer of chips, a layer of cheddar jack cheese, and then some pulled pork. And then you do another layer of chip, and he's putting some more pork on there now. We had these for a menu about six years ago, and they've really taken off. And then we do a little more cheese. And we, we chop up some red onion too and toss it in there for a nice little kick to it. Popping those in, he's actually pulling the Monterey out. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Oh my god. Oh man. That is delicious. So much flavor in this sandwich is unbelievable. Look at the meat in there. Oh. That's great. Delicious. On the flavor, this is a great sandwich right here. Yeah, that's delicious. delicious. Yeah, that's uh that's probably our we have a press box one as well, which has turkey. That one wow. I like more, so I did that. That is really good. And that focaccia bread's got a ton of flavor to yeah. it. Yeah, it's nice Super. toasted, yeah. Great, great, great sandwich right here. Pork nachos, they just came out. So we gotta get one with a little bit of everything on. We have to spoon it. Okay, she's gonna help me with the okay, coleslaw, so keeping it on the pork. Oh, God, look at this. Oh, man. The cold pork is great. Great flavor. The coleslaw on top, which I've never really had on nachos before. But brings out the pulled pork and all the nachos, and it is really good. That is awesome. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Today I'm gonna to be making a whipped white Russian. All right, the white Russian here. Let's see how this thing tastes. It's just all over my nose. <laughs> Knew that was gonna happen. I'm looking at it, I go, this whipped cream's gonna get all over my nose when I taste it. I don't have a napkin even wipe it. Wow. Uh, as you can see, they, they, they're feeding me well here. We, we sampled a couple of the dishes in the back already. Um, I know the underneath here has got to be those wings that they were talking about. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at them grill marks on that. Oh, they smell delicious. We got burgers, we got the waffle fries. We got a lot of food right here. So uh, I'm going to kind of sit back. I'm going to actually invite some of uh, the family to come and sit with me and we're gonna eat and we're gonna uh, chat a little bit and talk about the, the food. Wow, you know what? That's crazy good. I, I've never tasted something. I can't even explain what it tastes like. It, it's just, it's different. It's not covered in sauce. You can actually taste the wing. This food. It's outstanding. You can look at look at all the dishes we got here. So we're gonna sit. We're gonna have lunch, and uh, we're gonna enjoy the food they made for us today. We'll see you guys in a few. This is so good.
she cooked that burger perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had uh, the pulled pork sliders with uh, french fries. What'd you get? I got the press box nachos. Oh. Yes, I had a park Uh, can I get the, uh, Grandpa Canale? Okay, so we just finished up here at the Press Box in Oswego. What a day we had. You guys were awesome. I gotta tell you, being here for the, the, the second time and trying all the food you guys made, the atmosphere, uh, this is a really cool place. I want to definitely thank you guys for having us here, uh, showcase what you got to offer. As you can see, I'm finishing up the day by uh, the Grandpa Canale Spiked on the Rocks. Spiked on the rock, <laughs> which is really delicious. After all that food that I ate, this is a great way to end the, uh, end the evening. So. If you guys haven't been here, come check this place out in Oswego, New York. You definitely won't. And it got all the TVs, you got great drinks, you got great food, and the best part is you got great people. They take care of their customers and they'll treat you right. So come down, check this place out. So uh, again, I want to thank you guys for, for having us here and showing us a great time here in Oswego. So I'd like to say a toast to the Press Box and the Finale family for having us here. You guys Cheers. have a great night. Salute. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode of the Empire Flight.